this week's video, I'm going to be going over all my one rep maxes and then how I take my one rep maxes and use them as my working sets, how I figure out the weight I need. Um, I was bulking for some time there. My weight got up to about 250, 252. And I, I stood there for a while. Um, I think that's, 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 a, that's a high weight for me. I've, uh, I haven't been that heavy for a while. So I'm going to slowly start bringing my calories down, cutting. I know my weight that I move at the gym is going to decrease as well, but I would like to try to keep it as high as possible. That's why I tested all my one reps and trying to keep my working sets as heavy as possible with as much volume as possible to keep my weight up. So let's take a look at my bench press and then I'll show you how I figure out my numbers from there. All you. <clears throat> So as you saw, I was able to get 415 for one rep. And so this is what I do to figure out my working sets. Pretty easy. I just take my, my bench, it was 415, and I minus 30% off of it. It pulls off about 125 pounds, so I'm left with 290 and a half pounds. That will be my working set weight. So my goal when I do this is to hit, I'll just, you know, work my way up as a warm up to on my bench and I'll try to get 290 for three sets of 12 reps. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do that in the beginning, but I'd like to work my way up to that. And once I can hit three sets of 12 reps, I'll up my weight a little bit. Uh, and that should just kind of show me that I'm continuing to, to grow strength, get stronger. Uh, if I can't do it, then, you know, I'm just getting weaker, and, but that's okay too, because I am cutting calories. So I don't expect to hold the same amount of strength as I did when I was 250 fat boy. All right. The next lift I'm going to show you on my one rep is my deadlift. So here you go. So I was pretty happy with that one. Uh, I pulled 525 for one rep. Uh, I actually felt like my form was horrific when I was doing it, but after watching the video, I was surprised it wasn't so bad. So I'm going to do the same formula as just take 525 minus 30% and figure out my working uh, weight. And looks like this is it here. So like I said, kind of same formula. I'm going to be working with 367 and a half pounds. I'll be trying by working my way up to hitting that for three sets of 12 reps. For me doing deadlifts, getting up to 12 reps is really hard for me. It's just, it's a really exhausting workout. It's really difficult. So I might switch that one up to like a five by five instead, just because pulling a heavy weight for so many reps can just get pretty exhausting. So let's take a look at the, my squat, go from there. It's what I can do. Nice dude. So as you can see, my squat's pretty pathetic. I will throw out there that I have pretty bad psoriatic arthritis and it really affects my knees, but it is a lift that has always been difficult for me. Um, I'm going to really concentrate this next year on building my legs as much as possible. I think I can build my squat while still being in a calorie deficit. I think I have a lot of room for growth there. So it's what I'm focusing on the most by far. Um, let's look at the numbers. So I squatted 425 minus the 30% my working weight is going to be 297, but I'm actually going to be working with 315. Um, I know I can get 315 for eight reps, so I'm going to start there and try to build that up. All right, so that's pretty much it. I just want to show you what I do with my one rep maxes, um, how I use my one rep to formulate my working sets, 
and to go from there. I appreciate you watching this video. Um, any questions you guys have, feel free to ask me. I hope you might have learned something from it, and it'll be fun watching these numbers move up or down while I lose weight. I'm hoping I can kind of stay the same strength, but if it goes away, so be it. All right, see you in the next video.